The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and e-book formats on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and sponsored by international award-winning author Mia Mohsen Zia of Missing. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and brought to you by official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson's The Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We're here with a terrific lady who's a New Jersey singer, songwriter, and uh, a well-known performer throughout the East Coast and began her career writing her first song, playing piano, and wrote composition music at 14 and um, also recording music in 03. She's got some um, music out there. We'll talk more about that and also perform throughout New York City, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and um, also um, uh, on a number of uh, platforms like Spotify, Pandora, and more as well. And uh, we talk about her latest song, Falling Away, along with three others and one uh, being on the current charts as well. Live, ladies and gentlemen, the plus two is in beautiful downtown New Jersey. The amazing singer, songwriter from the East Coast performing um throughout that area, began her career writing. And uh, it's been a journey, ladies and gentlemen, the multi-talented Lisa Kovacs. Lisa, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for Hi, joining everybody. us today. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited to be here. What a great introduction, Mike. Thank you so, so much. Well, it's great to have you on board, Lisa. So you're a singer, songwriter, from, um, living in New Jersey. You performed throughout the East Coast. You began career writing your first song. You played your piano at um, at seven. You wrote composition music at 14, and you also were being recording music in 2003. You performed throughout uh, New York City, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and you have, have some releases on Spotify, also on Pandora, YouTube, and other platforms. It's just a lie to the other side, Bluebird, that's currently on the charts. And we'll talk about your latest song uh, that's coming out, Falling Away, as well. And before getting to that, Lisa, tell us how I first got started. Wow. Okay, so I'm I'm six years old, and my parents said to me, do you want to keep dancing, like ballet and tap, or do you want to do piano? Hmm. So, uh I, I chose piano, obviously, and studied piano for uh, 10 years, from age 7 to 17. And then I studied drums and guitar for two years, and then voice for almost nine years. Wow. With Mr. Thomas Rexdale. Yeah, he's he was out of New York City. And actually, I got him pretty quickly because my one of my closest girlfriends, that's her stepdad. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, an interesting time in my life. I enjoyed it a lot. Mm. And certainly, indeed, it was one precise moment that simply influenced you to what you do in the rest of your career. It, that's a great question. Uh, the one precise moment. You know, when I was really little, my dad, uh, who passed away when I was eight, unfortunately, uh, we used to go down to the den and, and play records, everything from like Elvis to you know, you, you name it, like the 60s and 70s. And I fell in love. I fell in love with the records. I used to look at age six, I was looking at records saying, oh, who produced this? <laughs> you know, who played on it? And uh, as time went on, you know, I started studying music. And then eventually into the teenage years, I would hear things on the radio and I would say, oh, wow, I want to go play that, especially like stuff like Hall & Oates or, you know, Elton John. Hmm. Rather interesting too, and of course, this is all uh, growing up in New Jersey. Yeah, because we we left California when I was three, due due to some er- earthquakes, <laughs> mm, okay. and uh, yeah, kind of chased my parents back home where our, both our fam- their families were, and uh, lived in Edison for a while, but mostly have been in the Tom's River area mm-hmm. since like sixth grade. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so you've been in the area for a while. And besides uh, listening to Elvis, uh, who are some of your other favorite um, singers, songwriters, and uh, musicians growing up? Uh, wow. Everyone from Barbara Streisand, uh, Hall & Oates, Billy Joel, Elton John, Prince, uh, Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. And then as I was getting older, I got heavily into uh, one of my most inspired from artists is Alanis Morissette. Oh, wow. And yeah, Sarah McLaughlin, Adele. Mm -hmm. uh, groups like uh, Matchbox 20, Maroon 5. Uh, you know, all of it. I love some, I love all kinds of music, but I was mostly focused towards pop, you know, mm -hmm. pop and rock. Okay. All right. And of course, you also create your own as well, too. You've got uh, It's Just a Line to the Other Side. Blue Bird, and we'll talk about falling away in one minute with Lisa Kovacs. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Soundcraft Studios. Visit online at soundcraftstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Soundcraft Studios is the answer. Soundcraft Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at soundcraftstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Soundcraft Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, International War Ring author Mia Molsonzia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molsonzia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those who love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molsonzia has got great reviews. An evil of endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many else. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molsonzia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Weiner Show at themikewainershow.com or 40 podcast platforms. Heard in 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Apple Music, Odyssey, Podbean, BitChute, Rumble. Make sure you subscribe and also follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, and more. And make sure you take us with you on any mobile device. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Weiner Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Weiner Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, Go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once and Wrinkles, also T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, more. Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia. Check it out today and support the Mike Weiner Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Weiner Show.com. We're here with the multi-talented singer, songwriter, performer uh, throughout the East Coast, uh, based in New Jersey, Lisa Kovacs here on the Mike Weiner Show. Before we talk about some of your music, and um, you also had some legendary singers and producers as well, like Shepard and Jordan. That's got to be the big one. Okay, yeah, well, Billy Shepard uh, and Judy Jordan, they were the ones after I, you know, honed my craft in Jersey, playing at like, uh, you know, little little cafes and coffee houses. And then I got ready to, to go into the city to play. And they they were wonderful. They gave me a great platform to play with great lighting, great. Uh, they had a baby grand piano on the stage. Nice. Uh, you know, great sound. And I had quite a few shows with them. Mm -hmm. yeah, wonderful people. Wonderful people. Mm -hmm. And certainly did too. And of course, you were in the soundtrack for the movie uh, Johnny Postal as well, too. Like to tell you. Well, we're we're still waiting. Uh, Frank Callow is still uh, waiting. I have the script, and I've worked on a song for it, but um, they haven't filmed it yet. But I'm hoping to have a song on the soundtrack. Oh wow! So when, when's that movie coming out? Not sure. Yeah, not, not sure. sure. Not okay, sure. all right. Yeah. At, at least, at least got something there too. Of course, you had um, you know, Cornerstone Cafe, the Coffee House, and Stone Pony, and everything else. I seem to think about Stone Pony, where Bruce Springsteen, um, you know, resides in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Have, have you have you uh, ever run to Bruce Springsteen or anything like that? <laughs> yes, I have. He's very kind, very kind. He was actually across from the Stone Pony, uh, sitting with three of his friends and at a restaurant and I, Oh, uh, the watermark watermark. And I, I went right up to him and I sh told him a little bit about myself. I thanked him first, of course, for his music. And he was so kind, so kind. He, he grabbed my arm and held on to it. And he looked me in the eye and uh, really, really cool person. Awesome musician. Mm -hmm. That's certainly amazing as well too. And of course, uh, you've been through, um, 
you know, mostly others in Pia as well, too. And um, and and also you had uh, playing coffee houses and whatever else. You also got some um, other music out there, too, like It's Just a Lie to the Other Side and Blue Burden. Tell us more about those songs and what inspired you to write them. Okay. Um, well, let's start with Blue Bird. Blue Bird is a special song, and I wanted, I had a vision that I wanted everyone that I knew that was playing around me that, you know, uh, I could get to play on like the best musicians on my record. So I got Joe Navolo, one of the top drummers on the East coast. He played drums and he's been working with Vinnie Perrier. He played bass. And then the man, Arnie Brown, who toured with the temptations, um, of course, not the beginner temptations, but later on, Mm -hmm. Uh, he co-produced it with me and it's very important for me to have like an awesome guitar solo, uh, whether it's a ballad or a a pop rock song. So he co-produced it with me and did the guitar solo and I had some background music on it and it it, it was just a wonderful experience. It was, it was awesome. Oh, Oh, and to top it off, everybody said, you don't need the horns. You don't need the horns, but I insisted. And I said, I, I'm hearing horns in the song. So uh, Mr. Steve Jankowski, he was so kind. He is on tour now with Nile Rodgers all over the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's a friend of mine. I recorded with him and he did a whole like two hour session of horns on it. And I feel so blessed to have all these um, instrumentalists on my record. It's, it's and, and the record went through like probably 30 mixes. Wow. And, and you know, it's uh, I had my, my great friend, Matt Hendrickson, who is near and dear to my heart always, you know, we would go over the records and say, Oh, we need a little more vocal. We need this. And and we would tweak it. And actually it took a year to get it like just right. Uh, You know, but now, now, now it's just right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's, and Matt also, he does my, all my graphic work and he did the, uh, did you see the album cover for Bluebird? Yes, I have. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. That was uh, Mr. Matt Hendrickson who actually has a movie coming out soon. (laughs) Oh, really? What's that? Uh, it's called Lucky Gallagher. Huh. Lucky Gallagher. Yeah it's, yeah, it's filming. It's filming now. Yeah. Hmm. What's yeah, that going to be cool? What's that about, by uh, the way? Lucky Gallagher. Lucky Gallagher is a great movie that is going to be about an older gentleman. And he's, you know, kind of a magician down on his luck and just a, a, a journey of what happens when he can't pay his rent and and things happen in his life, you know, with certain things. I don't want to give too much away, <laughs> but it's going to be a wonderful music uh, movie. And the man who plays the lead is Mr. John Morlino, actually Dr. John Morlino, who is one of my piano students. And I've taught him for five years piano. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see if I could give you a, hold on, I'll give you a poster. For you. Let's see if I oh, okay, that'd be songs. appreciated. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. What you might, uh, oh, you see that you, you got you it. That? You got it. Can you try to zero in a little bit? Whoops. You're, you're kind of going away. Can you try to go back and zero it in? Can you do that? Up a little closer. Like oh, you're moving away up closer, up closer. Oh, wow. That is really cool. I like that. That's, that's the movie poster. That yeah. is so amazing. It's so amazing. And, yeah. And I just wrote a script also a movie script called the piano lesson, alternate title of Annabelle's lesson. And this is the cover that Matt Hendrickson did for me for uh, to promote the movie. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Looks like you got some artwork involved in that. I'd like to see more of your artwork uh, while we're at it. <laughs> yeah, I love art. Uh, uh, draw, thank you. Drawing and painting is not my forte, but I try. But I, I consider myself kind of a color artist. Uh yeah, so I'm going to be putting some stuff up to sell soon. And I wrote a poem book. You know, a lot of, a lot of these uh, lyrics that did not go to song, I compiled as poems. So I'm going to get, I'm ready, almost ready to release my first poem book also. And when will that be about? When will I release it? Yes. Uh, probably within the month. Okay. All right. Yeah, sounds- on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon, Kindle. Okay, and uh, make sure you keep us today on that one, too. And, of course, uh, we talked about uh, Bluebird as well. Also, it's Just a Lie and To the Other Side. And um, tell us more about those songs and what a- actually inspired you to um, write the music, especially about the lyrics. And what do you base the lyrics on? Well, you know, I've said this before in interviews. Most songs are about relationships. And, 
you know, coming in or going out, the ups and the downs. So that's basically a lot of times what I'm, I'm writing about, you know, those, those kind of uh, treasured uh, moments near and dear to my heart. Mm-hmm. And, and certainly indeed. And too, and of course um, there's other music out there. And uh, if there's some songs you want to talk about as well too, feel free to do so. Okay. Great. Yeah. Like uh, to, to the other side, uh, there's some special meeting with God in there also. And uh, then we have, it's just a lie. Um, there, there's another one. It's not fair who I was, I was, so happy and lucky that Matt O'Ree, a friend of mine who toured with Bon Jovi, mm-hmm. he he played the guitar parts on "It's Not Fair." Uh, so I was pretty, I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> and nice. um, yeah, so you know that was a lot of these songs, Mike. Through the years, have been you know recorded. Like I started recording heavily in two thousand three, four, and then I would work with one person for a while. Then I would go to the next person. I worked with a man named Rick Iantosca who did a lot of the cool in the gang hits to mm-hmm. really find my voice. And then from him, I moved on uh, to working with Arnie Brown. Now, Arnie Brown mentored, do you know the, either of these names? Uh, Eddie Kramer and Dennis Ferrante. I've heard of them, yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, engineers that have worked with Jimi Hendrix, uh, John Lennon. And, you know, Arnie learned from them and it really shows in his production skills with me. Uh, in, you know, in the music. So, you know, it's like everything, you know, it's like a, it's like a cake and a, or like a, like a whole big recipe when you're making a song, trying to get the pull from the best around you and, and, and get, you know, get it on, on, well, not on tape anymore, but get it, you know, get it digitally recorded. Mm-hmm. And of course, you wrote you wrote these songs in 03 as well, too. And of course, you're releasing them now. And um, ma- ma- well, no, 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 no. I, I've written them over the years. Oh, no. Oh, well, got well, it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I was going to ask you what took you so long. That's a whole no. thing. <laughs> no, no. I, well, I wrote my first song that came together with words and music, uh, you know, tell you in 1995, but it, it didn't get recorded till 2003. But over the years, I've just kept writing and writing. I mean, I have enough music for three albums. But, uh, you know, and then you just keep, I've, I've worked on them over the years. You know, some songs have been tweaked or recorded three times, wow. you know, just to get them just right. So it's, 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 been a, it's been a journey. I even got to work with someone who engineered, uh, Mr. John Allen, who engineered some Bon Jovi records. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, but I started out, you know, truth is I started out like, like most people in, you know, in a, in a basement garage band. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. and of course now you get the garage band that's in the in the hands of a phone or a tablet that's a new garage band right there yeah i know it's a technology today right you just press a button you could send your song it's mind-blowing mm-hmm. mind-blowing and certainly indeed as well too and of course uh, we'll talk about your song um falling away from lisa kovacs in just one minute you listen to the mike widener show at the mike widener show.com powered by sonic web studios and brought to you by our official sponsor the mike widener show international warring author mia molson zia missing we'll be back with you melt the town lisa kovacs of new jersey with falling away after this time out. the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios if you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today mention the mike wagner show and get 20 percent off your project Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. 
tuned in to The Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with uh, Lisa Kovac, singer, songwriter, performer um, from out of uh, New Jersey with Fall the Way here on The Mike Wagner Show. And of course, that's the latest song you'll be featuring. Tell us more about that song and what inspired you to write it. You're talking about falling away? Yes. Uh, well, you know, like I said, you know, a lot of a lot of songwriters, I don't know if you know this, but you probably do don't like to get into the logistics of it. But, it, you know, it was a relationship that was falling away. And uh, it's almost I guess the word is cathartic, to, you know, to, to, to write through the experience to get to the other side. <laughs> no pun intended with the other name of the, one of my songs. Mm-hmm. Yes. But uh, yeah, falling away from you. And um, would you like to I, I'm at the piano right now. I don't know if, if the, the, the audio will come through. I could do a little bit of the, you, you know what? Uh, the yeah, instrumental. Go, yeah, go, go ahead. Let's give it a shot. Can you hear that? Absolutely. Go ahead. OK. Okay. That was yeah, that was a little bit of the verse into the chorus. Yeah. Okay. All right, good deal. So yeah, so falling away, um, you know, it's it's interesting, you know, how how the, the relationships go, you know, like this. But it was written about a, a person that I'm not with that person anymore, but um still care about still care about everyone I ever wrote about. Mm-hmm. Right. And of course, you know, that's pretty common indeed. And of course, you know, what, what do you want the listeners to, uh, to get out of your experience, the whole thing? So. What uh, repeat the question? No, I was going to say, what do you want the listeners to, uh, to get from your music? Oh, okay. Another great question. Um, well, art, I, I want them to, to feel something and to understand that, you know, we all go through, a lot of times the same emotions and, to, you know, to make it their own and, and, and enjoy it and, you know, want to s- sing with it and make them happy. Uh, and just, you know, when they come to my shows, you know, take them on a ride where like, you know, like just nothing is going on, but the music and, and the transference of, of, of the art between, you know, me and my band and, and the audience. You know, okay. just uh, have a good time and, you know, enjoy the music. Mm-hmm. And certainly did as well, too. Where can we find uh, Falling Away and all your music at, Lisa? Okay, well, you know what? I got to say thank you. Thank you to Mr. Uh, Steve Berger. Last night, he helped me load up uh, songs on Bandcamp. So I just put up Bluebird, uh, It's Not Fair is up there, and Tell You to uh, purchase if they want to do that. But you could also get me on Lisa Kovacs YouTube and Lisa Kovacs uh, music is my public Facebook link. Okay. All right. We'll certainly check those out. We're with the multi-talented singer, songwriter, performer from New- out of New Jersey, Lisa Kovacs here on the Mike Weiner show. Lisa, just a few more minutes. What else can we expect from 2023 and beyond? Okay. Well, I'm going to finish uh, falling away and then I have a show coming up. Uh, probably in October, November with Janet Rothstein. She's out of New York, but she has by Asbury park. She has a uh, singer songwriter shows called the listening room, which I've performed there before. So, you know, a show coming up in Asbury, uh, um, welcome to play at the Saint, and then, uh, you know, take it from there, you okay. know, keep writing, you know, um, a f- great friend and musician of mine, I asked him, God rest his soul, Bernie DiPolito, who sang and played percussion on background vocals on many of my tracks. He, I said to him when I was a younger girl, I said, What's, what, what do you got to keep doing? He goes, you have to always write and practice. Keep on writing, keep on practicing, you know, and collaborate, network, mm-hmm. you know, and hopefully, hopefully then I'm going to, you know, get signed up with a label and, uh, you know, do some bigger shows. 
Mm -hmm. And we're certainly looking forward as well, too. We can't wait to see what you got. And uh, who do you consider biggest influence in a career? If I had to name only one person? <laughs> it, it can be one or a few or several. It's all oh, up to you. Alanis Morissette, Prince, Elton John, Billy Joel, Michael Jackson, George Michael, Sarah McLaughlin, you know. Okay. Artists like oh, artists like them, you know, and and even oh Fleetwood Mac. Oh yes, that's a biggie. Fleetwood Mac, um, Led Zeppelin, um, and the Beatles. My gosh, the one of the biggest of all the Beatles. Mm -hmm. And and even Elvis, you know, even Elvis, you know, my dad when he was alive, my first dad, he loved Frank Sinatra, and he used to listen to his music all the time. He had every Sinatra album. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What what was his favorite song? Do you remember? Or a few of them? Yeah, I don't know, but maybe like something like My Way, you know, something like that. Okay. All right. Well, that's fair enough as well, too. And uh, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Anyone in the music career? In general. Anything? Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, that's, that's such a sweet question, Mike. Um, well, in general, in, well, let's do... Uh, in general, like live in the moment and, you know, be grateful uh, for what you have and, and dream, follow your heart and your dreams as well as with the music, you know, just keep going because one day if you keep going and you believe in your voice, it's, it's going to happen. And, and obviously keep practicing and, and keep writing and, and collaborate and, you know, get advice from people and, and talk about your music and, you know, share it, but it's, you know, I saw Lady Gaga recently in a in interview and one on one of her big awards, she, she looked at her award and she said, this is not easy. It's, it's, you have to be willing to go through the paces and put the work in and train and, and really uh, do the work before, before you get, a, you know, up there with, you know, a hit, God willing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's very important as well too. And something to remember, we're with the multi-talent singer, songwriter, performer, out of New Jersey, Lisa Kovacs. We're falling away here on the Mike Wagner Show. Lisa, very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. <laughs> keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Glad to have you back. And once again, what's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your works? Okay, so uh, Lisa Kovacs YouTube, Lisa Kovacs Music, and also Bandcamp. I just uploaded my songs for people to purchase uh, so they could have it on their playlist. So Bandcamp is uh is one of the latest ones also okay we'll certainly check those out once again lisa very big thank you for your time you've been absolutely amazing looking forward to having you again soon keep us up to date keep in touch live have you back wish y'all best and lisa you definitely have a great future have you thank you so much mike it was great to be here Sometimes we go to places we do not know We don't text or phone But we'll get through to the other side And I too have been there like you Same as you So let's Get To the other side Let's Get To the other side When we hurt so much We get out of touch and We don't feel the need To get to the other side So put your trust in me We'll go places we should be Just you wait and see We'll get through To the other side And I too Have been there like you
the same as you So let's get to the other side Let's get to the other side
The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. Brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosin Zia of Missing. And powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms. And of course, on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net, and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening. 